guess what time it is, guys? Bath and Butter Works. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. And today, oh, do you see it? Bath and Body Works, we are doing a haul, and I have literally never been more excited in my life. So as you can see, we have so much crap here to get through, and I am beyond excited about it because there is a mixture. We have candles, we have hand soaps, we have little wall fragrance plug-in things, and we have some of the new scents that they released. At least, I think they're new. They, maybe they're new. It doesn't really matter if they're new. Hello. It's Bath and Body Works candle time, people, and I'm so excited to dive in to the fall assortment. Oh, this is literally what I've been waiting for, and I bought several because... The, the, now there's a reason so don't just, just pause before you start judging me wait number one fall is my favorite time of year like fall <sighs> Oh, fall is like my life, my everything. I love, don't get me wrong, okay? Like, I love a good t-shirt graphic moment, but my favorite time of year is one in which I can wear a hoodie, I can wear scarves, I can wear my hair up in a big poof, and then I can have a scarf down here. Like, oh, my my world sends me when I get to have fall. And so all the fall candle scents and all the fall, everything that is in these boxes is just like, oh, uh, amazing. Plus, for whatever reason, and this is the part where I'm like, Jesus loves me, this I know, because let me tell you, they sent me, I think, th two or three days before that sale happened, they sent me a 20% off coupon for 20% off your entire order. And I wasn't paying any attention, whatever. I went, I entered it at checkout. I was like, wow, this is crazy that they're letting me use this coupon. The coupon had expired, you guys. It was not even supposed to work, and it did. So all of this stuff, which was already insanely on sale, like $3 a piece, $10 a piece for a candle, whatever, I also got 10 or 20% off of the entire order. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did your soul cry? Because mine just wept for joy. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead. I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get to playing around. I want to get to really vibe in my best life. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Editing page here. I just wanted to interject at the very beginning of this video. We did have a small kerfuffle, and I'm sure you've already noticed it. I didn't stop to think about the fact that I hadn't filmed on this camera in a hot minute. And for whatever reason, the settings on it were tweaked. And so every time I got like closer to the camera, I became fuzzy. Like it wasn't auto focusing on me. I have no idea why. And I tried to like edit around it, but obviously there's a lot of moments where I'm still fuzzy or where it looks a little funny. And I was like debating on putting this video up but I still wanted to put it up because I thought it was really fun and like very candid very chill and just like a funny kind of hangouty video if like you're into those kind of things so I know it can be a little annoying I just wanted to throw it out there um that if you were curious like what is going on why doesn't she notice that I just couldn't see it in the viewfinder it was not very apparent like the level of fuzz I just couldn't see so I do apologize but again I wanted to put it up I figured it would be better to put up the authentic unboxing than to redo it and fake it and just I don't know that's not my style and the second thing I want to mention is the line of demarcation there's a slight line i was doing a review it was a foundation review of the new girl foundation and i was not a big fan of that foundation it didn't really work super well on my skin and for whatever reason again there was a faint line of demarcation that really showed in this lighting and overall my foundation my, my makeup just doesn't look the best in here but it was really the only place that i could like set it up and really show you guys and hang out so i apologize for those couple of things but i just wanted to mention them at the start of the video just so that way if they drive you nuts or whatever you do know I saw them I'm sorry but I still thought the video was fun so go ahead enjoy I hope that you like this video and I'm gonna go now and finish editing it so I will talk to you later happiness guaranteed love it or bring it back <laughs> okay now some of these fragrances I already know and love but some of them like this one I never done smelled before this is crisp morning air and I'm just gonna mm-hmm oh my god that smells so good wait wait where are the notes hello Okay, this is apparently the only hand soap that doesn't have the notes on the bottle, but one of my favorite things about Bath & Body Works is that on every candle or hand soap, typically if you turn it over, it will tell you the notes of that. So if you are purchasing online like I did for all of this, it's very, very easy to know if there's a smell that you're going to gravitate more towards, if there's something you're going to like, or if you're like, ugh, I don't like cedar, you can really see all of that online. So you can really shop a lot easier online than you typically would be able to for this type of stuff. So just keep that in mind. It has a little bit of an interesting almost like cotton or um like I did the laundry kind of undertone mixed with apples but it smells really good also can you just like take some appreciation for this packaging like how cute is this detail it looks so adorable now as you can see the scent on this one is white jasmine and this one has no back label at all so no ingredient list no nothing oh maybe it's folded up in here I don't I don't care just smell it hello oh 
This smells like perfume. I am dripping it all over myself. If you were to mix maybe Prada and Gucci Bamboo together, oh my god, that smells so good. Okay, so this is going well. Also, by the way, if you can't guess yet, basically this is just an entire video of me telling you what things smell good and what things don't smell good. So flannel, oh my god, did I buy two of these? I bet I did, because I know me, oh, I sure did. Guys, flannel... Oh, this is an OG scent. I have, I just, spoiler alert, girl, I bought the candle scent too as well. This is so, so good. Flannel is like the, I want a slightly manly smell. Like he wears a flannel, but he's also clean. He's not like dirty flannel man. He's like clean. Maybe I wear like Old Spice on occasion kind of flannel man. Ooh, child, he smell, he smell real good. And I would walk into his bathroom all day long. Especially if it smells like this, because it smells real nice. Um, the hints on the back here are crisp autumn air, heirloom mahogany, and cedarwood. And what I like about this is that it is a more like masculine fragrance, but it's the kind that if you're a female and you're like, oh, I don't really want it to smell like a man lives here, but I really love that traditional kind of mahogany cedarwood type of smell. It does it in a really sophisticated way that you can really pull off like in a bathroom or in a space or whatever, and it smells fantastic. And there's also this little guy, which is, oh, sweater weather. Oh, sweater weather. Oh my God, you guys. So good. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Pause. Thank you. Um, sweater weather is another one of my all-time favorite, 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 and I love it so much. Oh my God. Sweater weather is like, kind of like piney like like think like pine tree christmas tree kind of feel but it's not overly done um and there are no hints on the back of course maybe when i get to the candle because also spoiler alert there's a candle in this fragrance as well oh my god it just smells so good it's almost like pine but like a sweeter version with like a little like nutmeg or something in there like a little holiday spice so good guys it's time for candles and can i just tell you one of my favorite things about bath and body works in their candles and the way everything comes is the presentation like look at this big old leaf it's just so well done everything is so cute it's so thought through and like on this one the front is plain but get well wait till you get to some of the other ones because they are so so cute now this one here is the perfect autumn i believe this was one of the the new scents oh okay this is like a traditional walking into joanne fabrics and they've got those pine cones like cinnamon pine cone kind of feel very much so that a lot lighter not so aggressive with like a hint of something else in there cranberry that's what it was it was cranberry cranberry spiced pumpkin crisp apple rich clove and essential oils Oh, she smells good. Not my favorite candle, but smells good. Okay, let's put you over here. Oh my God, you guys, this is one of those ones where the packaging is so good. Look at how cute this is. Excuse me, focus. Thank you. Focus, focus. Like, just look at this. It's like an actual super beautiful leaf imprint on wood, and it goes all the way around, and then even the top is like a wood grain. Like, are you kidding me? Now, this was another one of the new ones. This is Fall Farmhouse. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this one to me is almost like that traditional, like I just walked into the dollar store vibe and it's Christmas time and I pick up one of their candles and smell it, but it's a little bit more sophisticated. The Spiced Pumpkin, Forest Pine Branch, Fresh Fall Air with Essential Oils. That's what it is. It's giving me like a Fresh Fall Air, Air Freshener kind of vibe. Ooh, ooh, this one, okay. Sorry, I got so excited. This one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Another one that I believe is on the newer side. Um, first of all, the packaging on this is just so freaking cute. Oh, I got hungry. I'm already hungry. I haven't eaten in hours, but like, Oh, yeah. I'm definitely getting the pecans, too. Like, it's not like a crappy Dollar Tree kind of pecan vibe. This is like a real freaking pecan. Like, girl, I just stuck my head in that bin of them. You know, the kind, like, the bulk bin at the store that you scoop them out? I just stuck my head in that bin, took a big old whiff, and that smells real nice. Um, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar with essential oils. Yeah, 100%. More room for my candles. Gotta make more room for my candles. Also, this is probably one of my favorite packages that these came in. Look at, it's like actual birch. It looks so pretty. And this is the scent vanilla birch. Oh, I was really worried about this one. But it literally smells, it's like the perfect balance. It's not too vanilla, it's not too tree, masculine, like musky smell. White birch, Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood with essential oils. I think that the warm sandalwood is like the perfect bridge between the vanilla and the birch. Ooh, that smells good. Too much crap, too much crap. Get out of my face. Oh my God, fresh fall morning. Oh, honey. This one has a hint of boy in there. Like, I can smell a man. Like, he smelled like a real nice little clean cut man. Citrus zest, woodland sage, red delicious apples. Ooh, that sagey little man. Okay. Nature walk. Ooh, ooh. Department store. Like, 
Like, I just walked into, like, PacSun or, like, one of those ones with, like, the male models that are on the front. And they're just like, oh, like, they're chiseled. Okay, well, <laughs> most of them don't look like that. They actually have, like, abs and stuff. But, like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Okay, again with the sandalwood, bergamot, zest, juniper berries with essential oils. Okay. Honestly, I'm not getting so much in the juniper berry. I'm just getting more so the um, sandalwood and the bergamot zest. They also have crisp morning air in a candle version. Oh, and it smells just as nice. Apple weather. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm dead. Apple weather. My soul. You guys, if you don't know this by now, hi, my name is Paige and I love apples. And this is if I, this is the skin of a red delicious apple in a freaking candle. Okay. Fresh farm stand apples, hundred percent lavender leaves, cinnamon bark with essential oils. Girl, I'm telling you all take a smell, take a smell. It's good. Oh, leaves. Oh my God. That's just what it's called. Leaves. Get ready. <sighs> okay, so this is literally when you walk into Joann's and the pine cones are dipped in cinnamon and it's like real intense. Like it's a brand new fresh batch. Ain't nobody touched it. It hasn't had a chance to really aromate and they just put it out. Aromate is not a word, but you know what I'm trying to say? This, this is that. The other one was like a really demure version, wherever it was. I don't know if it was a hand soap or a candle anymore, but this is like it. Like when you walk in and you get blasted with it, if you love that smell, this is your candle. Mom, you are going to love this candle. All right, guys. It's here. Flannel. Oh, yes. There is that good, clean, might wear Old Spice sometimes kind of man. And he smells so good. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to say about this one. He's mine. This one is a Northern Michigan girl. The name of it is Frozen Lake. Okay. Ooh, girl, it is a fresh ass clean lake. This is like a clean linen kind of lake. Ooh, very clean cotton, clean linen, clean clothes kind of vibe. I don't know where you're getting frozen and I don't know where you're getting lake, but it's definitely clean clothes. Very nice. Oh, this is giving me like Tide sense, honey. Not like Tide, like a rolling Tide, but Tide like Tide Pod challenge, except without the challenge. And this one is Welcome Home. Welcome Home. Oh, okay. In it to win it. This one is like a nice, lightly sweet. I want some pancakes. I want some pecans on my pancakes. I want some honey, some, no, not honey. I want some syrup on my pancakes. <sighs> Cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, cloves bud, brown sugar with essential oil. So there's not pancakes in here. I am shocked. And now this is the last candle, and this is also one of the newer fragrances. This is Bourbon Maple, and let me tell you, oh, that smells kind of fabulous. It's very, I'm getting maple, but I'm not getting just maple out. There's almost like a nut undertone to it. Yeah, so it has a barrel-aged bourbon, sugared amber, and maple wood with essential oils, and the maple wood is what I was getting. Oh, that smells real nice. All right, and so that is it for candles. I know we're all shocked. It was a lot of candles, um, but I do have, it looks like a couple more hand soaps in here. And then I have a few of these wallflower things. So for the other ones here, this is blackberries and basil. Seriously, this smells so good. This would be such a nice crisp fragrance if you wanted a hand soap for your kitchen. Because it gives you nice berries, but it's also cut with that basil. So it has like a slight earthiness to it. Oh, that smells good. Blackberry, sparkling champagne, and basil. I like that a lot. Rose water and ivy. This one I already know is one of my favorites because we just got done using it out here in the kitchen. Rose petals, rain kissed ivy with spring musk. That's the twist, that musk. Oh my, this one will be hoarded for my bathroom or my, my something somewhere where I can huff it every day. Now real quick, I wanna move on to the wallflowers and a lot of these are duplicates of the scents we've already had. So I figured we would kind of just run through the ones that I've already smelled. Um, Cause we have two flannels right here. Cause obviously your girl loves flannel. Leaves, which I've already smelled. And then this is crisp morning air. So I have the hand soap and the um, candle and the wallflower for crisp morning air. So one room is gonna smell real crispy with the morning air and the second batch right here these four we have sweater weather again a classic um welcome home and apple weather which were candles and then rose water and ivy which i also grabbed the hand soap up now overall you guys that is everything i picked up i just wanted to come on here hang out with you guys i keep getting requests for this kind of video like Paige, will you just hang out unbox some stuff and like do a little bit more lifestyle so let me know down below do you guys like lifestyle-y type videos i know so many of you wish i would go back to the vlogs and someday trust me i want to so so bad but for now we have to take a little hiatus and I just want to be able to throw these types of videos in there for you every now and again so let me know down below do you like these kinds of videos the more lifestyle -y ones are you only here for makeup like what are your thoughts and opinions leave them down below and also don't forget you can subscribe and turn your post notifications to this here YouTube channel I am typically more of a makeup type channel so if you just like me you like my personality my vibe whatever uh, stick around subscribe and you never know what you might see and what you might learn over here so thank you all so so much for watching again subscribe turn on your post notifications let me know your thoughts 
thoughts down below. What are your favorite Bath & Body fragrances if I don't know them yet or haven't already loved them? Honey, I want to hear them down below. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I feel like I could wash this and use it for something. Oh my God, am I not a 77-year-old lady right now? I'm just like, yes, honey, I need this big bag for something. Yes, queen. Also, can we just talk about these stretchy leggings? Like, look at all the room for activities in here. Hello? I was even ever he may go. And I a high you could keep, keep, keep me away. Oh my God, I just can't get enough of you. Rosewater and ivy.